AFC South is rookie quarterback division as a Will Levis moments ago just went off the board to the Tennessee Titans. This is a big pick with lots of ramifications. So, Huge. Will Levis, overview. Yesterday, obviously, everybody saw the, the footage of him sitting in the draft room with all those random chicks sitting around him, and he was just, you know, waiting and waiting and waiting, and he did not go in the first round. He was a guy that was talked about to go in the top 10. He slid outside of the top 10 after he did not go to Indianapolis at four, and he ended up waiting the entire night. Out of Kentucky, he's got a big arm. He obviously was at Penn State, transferred to Kentucky. Uh, he is looked at as more of a developmental guy. Obviously, we've looked at that. He's probably been the lowest of the QBs in dynasty circles. Um, and we've kind of seen that now. He's come off as the fourth QB on the board, the third of those QBs to go in the AFC South. But this has some big ramifications. So let's go ahead Huge. and talk a couple things here. In terms of where we're ranking Will Levis right out the gate, I think I would comfortably, assuming he gets the starting job in Tennessee, I think I'm comfortably putting him in the top. I mean, 20 of, of dynasty quarterbacks. Wouldn't you agree? Yes, I'd, I I would agree. I don't think that's really bold. I mean, we have some major question marks from a contract perspective and a lot of dying, aging QBs in the NFL right now. And I think with Will Levis, you, you cannot deny his athletic upside and what he did at Kentucky with the weapons that he had specifically in his junior year. I, I think with him, so some of the things that we were seeing is that a lot of teams in his interviews kind of hated his attitude and were kind of turned off by it and not turned off completely that they were off his board, but they weren't really willing to give up a super early pick to go get him. I, I think with Tennessee not trading up in the early first to get him and waiting until the second, uh, this obviously is going to affect his dynasty value in rookie drafts, where he, but I still think he should sit comfortably in the B tier, just in a super flex league, right? Or, or do you Ooh, think it's hard? Is, I think is the B tier pushing it. He would be the bottom of the B tier for me, I think, because all, all those B, guys yeah. went, yeah, yeah. But it is a super flex league, so it'd probably keep him there. So yeah, as far as ranking, I think I'm agreeing with you there. And look, in terms of implications on Tennessee's roster, obviously Derrick Henry is going to Derrick Henry. This doesn't affect him whatsoever. However, you've got to think about Traylon Burks, a guy we have been telling you all off season to buy. Now Traylon Burks is going to get somebody <laughs> who passes the ball a lot. He's got a big arm, and Traylon Burks is literally the only target in Tennessee. I mean, you're not yeah. really counting any of those guys if you're taking yourself seriously. So every owner of every single owner of Traylon Burks right now is just drooling with this pick. They I finally have a competent QB from a fantasy perspective that can. It, you know, support significant volume in the passing game. It's awesome. <laughs> the Lions, the good tight ends. That'll be fun to do. The port is good. Yeah. Um. So now production wise, Will Levis, we don't know. I mean, probably 10 to 16 points a game. That's a big range, but I think it's not going to be anything crazy his first year. I think he's probably going to have a lot of mistakes. He's again, still got some development to do Um. in terms of the landing spot and the fit. You know, I think that Tennessee is going to be fine for him. And Tennessee, when you look at what they did with Ryan Tannehill, Ryan Tannehill's career before he was on the Tennessee Titans was less than impressive, honestly. He was on the Dolphins. He tended to struggle. And they kind of had his career resurrected by that Tennessee Titans offense. And their offense is not going to be super pass heavy most of the time. They're going to run a mo mostly um, a running plays and, and lots of Derrick Henry pounding the ball. They're a very power um, style team. So... You're going to see a lot of that still. However, with Will Levis's arm, that's going to open up some of the running game for Derrick Henry. Uh, it's going to allow them some down the field threat now. I don't think, I mean, Ryan Tannehill was really providing that for them. And I don't think, I definitely don't think Malik Willis is. So right. it's a good fit. And I think his first year, we should probably keep our expectations a little Tamper bit lower because although he does have some rushing upside, um, I'm I mean, not sure how even, much they're going to be asking him to do uh, that. Not and, only that, they can phase him in slowly. It's not like Tannehill is a liability on that team. Look what they did with him for the last multiple years in, in making deep runs in the playoffs. I think they can utilize him as long as they want. And Tannehill of recent has struggled with injury, so I wouldn't be surprised if they utilize Tannehill like they have always, and then he inevitably gets injured at some point. It's a perfect time for Will Levis to come in, and then they kind of slowly phase Tannehill out if everything goes as planned with Levis. This is a second-round pick. This isn't like they have everything riding on Levis, which is why they didn't take him in the first round. They didn't want it to be that way. So with that being said, I, I think that means that Will Levis probably, if I were to predict right now, I don't think he's starting day one. I wouldn't go as far as saying he doesn't play all year one, but it's probably it's probably going to take a little while. So with that, let us know what you think of Will Levis in the comments. Let us know what you think of the landing spot. Obviously, this has already turned out to be a very deep 
class for quarterbacks way, way, way deeper than last year. And maybe Hendon Hooker is about to go off the board, too. It'll be interesting to see where he goes, but we might not even be done with quarterbacks. So the fourth quarterback is Will Levis. He's off the board to the Tennessee Titans. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. We'll have more content coming out tonight and all offseason about these prospects that are drafted over the next few days. As always, we appreciate you guys watching. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you later.